Today's video is a three-part series on creating a potted dragon fruit trellis as featured on the JNM Backyard Orchard channel. Part one is about timber selection. In this segment, the focus is on choosing the right timber for the trellis. The type of wood used can significantly impact the trellis's durability and overall appearance. Factors such as weather resistance, strength, and aesthetics play a role in making the right selection. Part two is about trellis construction. And here the video covers the step-by-step -step process of building the trellis. From sizing and cutting the timber to assembling the framework, the viewers will learn how to create a sturdy structure that will support the dragon fruit plants as they grow. And part three is about soil preparation and planting. This final part showcases the essential steps for preparing the soil in the pot. Proper soil composition, drainage, and nutrients are crucial for the health of the dragon fruit plants. Additionally, viewers will see how the trellis is populated with four dragon fruit plants propagated from the American Beauty cuttings. Whether you're a seasoned gardener or a beginner, we hope that this video series provides valuable insights into creating a successful dragon fruit trellis. Happy gardening! We started growing dragon fruit about three and a half years ago with the yellow dragon fruit variety. We did our research on Google and followed Richard on the YouTube Grafting Dragon Fruit channel. If you'd like to follow Richard, we provide the link to his YouTube channel in the description below. Why yellow? Well, the yellow was touted as the sweetest variety. We managed to buy some cuttings of this variety at that time, thought to be the Ecuador Pelora. The next task was to make a suitable trellis. So, we headed to the local hardware store, Bunnings, and found dressed pine timber, which is an indoor timber. We built a trellis according to Richard's design using dressed pine simply to gain experience, as this first trellis was considered a prototype. So this trellis that you see in the video is nearly three and a half years old and has provided us with lots of fruit but it's on its way out. We have since found out that the variety we are growing is a Colombian Polora, thanks to Kevin at Forest Dragon Fruit Farm in Forestdale, south of Brisbane. Now, Kevin has supplied us with cuttings of a number of varieties over the years, including our prized Ecuador Polora that you see here. This trellis is about a year and a half old and the fruits are more than double the size of the Colombian Polora. Winding back to the selection of the right timber, you can see that our first dress spine timber has deteriorated in three and a half years and wood rot has set in on the base. The trellis is being held up by tie ropes and the stake. We will see it through till the end of the current crop of fruits and retire the whole trellis as we are replacing our Colombian Plora with the new trellis comprising American Beauty Dragon Fruits. Our second generation trellis was made up of CCA treated hardwood timber, also sourced from Bunnings. CCA treated timber is wood that has been treated with a preservative containing copper, chromium and arsenic. Arsenic does not sound good, but we bought it and made the trellis and mitigated the risk of arsenic contamination by lining the pot and base with builder's plastic as you can see here to separate the root of the dragon fruit from the wood base. You can see some of the plastic wrapped around the base of the post in the video. Our third generation of 
trellis was made out of garden wood stakes of various sizes which we found from Bunnings. This was made out of untreated hardwood, but not nearly thick enough. As you can see, we built the trellis by assembling smaller stakes. You can see the gaps in the post in the video. This configuration seems to work and has lasted nearly three years, but it is bearing up under the strain. Our fourth generation trellis is made out of Australian iron bark and sourced from Gant Timber in Muruka, south of Brisbane. We have placed a link to their website in the description below. Russell at Gart Timber was very helpful in also right-sizing the timber pieces, including the posts. So our current design of a trellis looks like this now. This is an Aussie Gold Hybrid, which is almost ready to pick. And this is an American Beauty. Most of our dragon fruit have commenced their third flush of fruiting at the beginning of autumn here. In summary, we advise aspiring dragon fruit growers to opt for good untreated hardwood when constructing trellises. In part two of our episode, see link in the description below, we'll provide detailed instructions on constructing these trellises. For those interested in our videos, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel to stay updated. Thank you for watching.